Sack gardens are a fun, healthy way to raise environmental awareness. They're ideal for community and urban gardens, even balconies. They can be a great group activity and everybody can contribute. Start the seeds indoors so seedlings are ready to transplant by late May. This garden can have tomatoes, lettuce, kale, peppers, basil. There are tons of possibilities. Use newspapers for seed pots. They will be much easier to transplant later. See one of these websites for some detailed instructions. You'll need a porous sack, woven polypropylene grain sacks like this one, or birdseed bags work well. Ask at a local garden center for used ones. You also need a large metal can with the top and bottom removed, some gravel, soil, four wooden stakes, twine, and your seedlings. Mix your soil with some compost and peat before you start. Fold down the sack like this, then add about six centimeters of soil to the bottom of the bag. Place the hollow can upright in the center of the sack and fill it with gravel. Cover the top with another piece of plastic to keep soil out. Now you add more soil around the can, making sure to avoid getting any in the gravel, because if the two mix, watering will become much more difficult as the plants grow. As you add more soil, let the top of the can stick out of the soil. Carefully pull it up, stopping before the bottom comes out of the soil. Add more gravel to the can, cover it again, and fill with more soil. Repeat this process unrolling the sack as you go. When the sack is full, remove the can. Now you have to support the sack stakes or it could tip over easily. These stakes are about two centimeters by two centimeters. Sharpen the tip of one end so it goes easily into the ground and drive the stakes in at least mm, about 15 centimeters deep. Next, secure everything with twine. Leave the stakes long as plants such as tomatoes or beans will use them for support as they grow. Now it's time to plant the seedlings and turn this bag of dirt into a garden. Starting about a quarter of the way up from the bottom of the sack, cut an inverted T about five to seven centimeters in size. Open the flaps created by the slits and pull out some of the soil. Dig at a downward angle of about 45 degrees. If you use newspaper pots, push the whole thing into the hole you just made. Mix some soil with water and push it around the seedling. Close the flaps as much as possible. Leave some space, repeat the process, working around and up the sack until you're done. Pour water through the central rock column until the soil is all wet. You'll have to repeat that daily during the first week, but after that every two or three days is good. You can build community by getting parents or older students involved in the watering when school is out. Volunteers can collect produce as it comes ready for harvest. Cucumber, lettuce, chard, spinach, they'll all continue to produce food throughout the summer. You can provide a log for volunteers to show when they watered and what they were able to enjoy. There it is. One sack with an incredible number of plants in such a small space. A healthy outdoor activity that's fun and satisfying for children. It's environmentally friendly, it teaches skills that last a lifetime, and it can be done by almost everybody. For more information, contact us here. I think that's